Wesley loves hair. I should have the babies look at this. It's big. It's so big. It's an apple. It's an apple. But... Oh! It's a duck. It's a duck. It's a duck. <laughs> oh my god. The 12 year old in me is screaming. He's just ripping it to shreds. What's going on? There's something new for you. Open them. Open them. That's yours. Whoa. I got you guys' favorite colors. What do you think? Thank you. You like it? Let's see what Maisie thinks. She's not very impressed. Here I go. Hello, let's open back at jazz. Humidifier. I have two humidifiers, but I need more. There's a spider. Phone case? Ooh. That's cool. Another phone case. A butterfly phone case. It's for you, I guess. Oh, I like this one too. Let's put it on. Sure. Oh, I guess. What is it? For the chickens. Okay, I know this is for the chicks. Oh, but it's heavy. Oh, what in the world is that? A rake? A rake? For the chickens. For the chickens. I'm not gonna lie. I'm nervous about tomorrow. I'm on vocal rest, obviously, but I do talk maybe 10, 15 minutes collectively throughout the day when I talk to my kids or respond to Eric, etc. I try not to, but sometimes it seems unavoidable. Anyway, today I can feel my throat hurting a little bit. I'm nervous. I've seen some comments saying, just postpone the show. It's better to save your voice. And I agree, it's definitely smartest to do what's best for my health and take care of my vocal cords. I'm not going to risk damaging my voice permanently for a couple of shows. However, if there is a way I can do the show safely. I really want to do them. I love performing and I was so excited to take Flynn to the shows this week. And there's a LOT that goes into postponing or canceling a show. It's a lot of work and money and tears, honestly. So I'm hoping for the best, but it's not a simple decision for me. I guess we will have to wait and see. Um, 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 oh, oh, I, 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 yeah, that's an eye. Is it, is it an eye? Is it an eye? Is it an eye? Is it an eye? Oh, it's an eye. Oh, oh, oh. What's this, Maisie? Oh. Cool. Mm-hmm. 
Thank you. Looks like a cube. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Some M. I saw someone comment the other day. I know I shouldn't be talking, but I haven't talked for hours, so. I saw someone comment when I was excited and surprised that Maisie knew the letter M, that it was very apparent that I don't spend much time with my kids because <laughs> because I was surprised and excited that she knew the letter M. Do other parents not get excited when their children do incredible things? Is that not normal for a parent to be excited and happy and surprised by the incredibleness that is their children? I feel like people will try to find anything they can to like make up a story. Like they saw me being excited about her knowing her letters and thought, oh, she must be excited and surprised because she doesn't know her children. Very odd assumption. That to go from this thought to go like, um, this is the reason for this. Like, no, the reason for this is right here. Like, I was surprised and excited and couldn't believe it because it was surprising and exciting. Sometimes I'm blown away by my children because they're pretty awesome. They're pretty awesome. But all my kids, they blow me away every single day. Like there's so, something they do every day that I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't believe you know how to do that. I can't believe you know how to say that. I spend 80% of my time with my children and I try to get most of my work done when they're sleeping. I'm very lucky that I get to do that. I feel like the luckiest mom in the world that I get to spend as much time with my kids as I do. Me being excited about my kids growing and learning and being incredible has nothing to do with me not spending time with them and then not knowing them. It's because I, I get excited when my kids are awesome. And I wanted to bring it up, not because I was like, oh, I have to defend myself against this, but because in case there are other parents out there who saw that comment and thought something negative about it, don't worry, Coco's right inside. But like, not all parents can be home for their kids every exciting moment. It's not realistic that all parents can be home for when their kid figures out what an M is for the first time or walks for the first time or whatever. And there's no shame in that. There, That shouldn't be shamed. Like people have to work and people have to live to support their family and they can't be there for every moment. And I can't either, I've missed things. And there's no shame in that, that's, that's okay too. And so the reason I'm bringing it up is not to be like, how dare this person set this thing? But to say like, one, it's awesome and wonderful for parents to be excited and encouraging and impressed by their children. And two, if you miss those moments, that's brutally hard and it, it's painful to miss those moments, but it doesn't make you less of a parent. It makes you an incredible parent that you're doing everything you can to support your children and that you have to make sacrifices and miss those moments to support your family. Yeah, so I just didn't want anyone to see a comment like that or other comments like that and think negatively of themselves because parenting is hard and everyone's doing their best. Or at least I hope everyone's doing their best. I guess not everyone's doing their best, but a lot of people are doing their best. Anyway, I'm gonna stop talking now, okay. They're not quite into forts just yet. Hello, I'm Colleen Ballinger and I'm gonna eat Bubby's mochi. This is a mochi filled with delicious passion fruit ice cream. It's like a Should, we let it? Should we let it thaw? I don't know, no, it's ice cream. I know, but it's just so hard. <laughs> Mmm. <laughs> apple? I like the ice cream. I don't like the mochi. It has a weird tang to it. Try it. Try it. The mochi's pretending. I'm trembling. You really? She's pretending. She hasn't taken a bite yet. She is pretending. <laughs> 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 yummy. He loves it. She's pretending. Ooh, she thinks she likes it. She's taking a bite. There you go, girl. How is it? Is it yummy? Ooh, it's surprisingly good. Apple. <laughs> Best apple you ever had. We decided to eat outside for dinner this evening. It's lovely. 
So now the food's all over the ground outside instead of inside. Oh, he's eating my ice cream. Uh, Wesley stole my ice cream cone. I'm gonna steal that back in a second, Mr. Wesley. Wesley. Watching the sun set out there. It's a nice one. It's pretty, isn't it? Do you like eating outside? Yeah. Whoa, you ate a lot. I ate all my strawberries. Holy smokes. Wesley loves stuff in his hair. Yeah, I know. He always it's so it funny. <clears throat> so pretty. If he finds anything that's a hair accessory, he like puts it on his head. He's like, ooh, he loves hair, this boy. Ooh, pretty. Can I turn my bread? Mmm. 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 Bread. Food always tastes better when it was mommy's first. Mm. Uh. Uh. Thank you. Mm. Uh. He's like awesome. Mm. Mm. Uh. Mm. Mm. This vlog is shorter than normal. It's getting harder and harder not to talk and find creative ways to communicate with you in these vlogs. Hopefully I get some good news tomorrow at the doctor. I'll definitely update your ASAP on social media, so make sure you're following me. We. Okay, I'm gonna do some work and eventually go to bed. I love you all so much. Thanks for being patient with me through this. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. You can relax. Colleen and Eric have a podcast. The world is scary and we're locked in our home. But now we have big microphones. So you can relax, that's the name of our podcast.